In order to develop, unite existing efforts in the space sector and to take this initiative forward, Ministry of Transport, Communications and Information Technology organized a symposium under the title Romani Space Sector, Future Directions and Investment Opportunities. This symposium came under the auspices of His Excellency Dr. Mohammed bin Nasr al-Zaabi, Secretary General of the Ministry of Defense. The Center for uh, Space and Advanced Technologies. The National has been studying. The National Center has been studying the opportunities in space uh, with uh, many uh, stakeholders in the in the Sultanate and with the help of expertise from outside the country. Uh, the results were uh, basically uh, pointers to focus on the downstream uh, part of the uh, space uh, of the space economy, uh, which is about 90 percent of the overall world. Uh, 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 participation in the space um, industry. Uh, we think uh, there is a lot of niche uh, projects that the Sultanate can, can uh, work on and as a result you saw the offer of some uh, opportunities to the private sector. So two of these were actually uh, signed today. We think there is about uh, at least another five to ten this year that will be offered to the market. Um, the opportunities that present uh, themselves are to do with the data, data analysis, uh, analytics, to do with also uh, the data center's uh, connection with space, uh, to do with uh, also launching. Uh, that is for both amateurs and for the uh, and for the, the industry. The existing efforts in the Omani space sector include various governmental bodies all co-work to ensure that the Sultanate of Oman is ranked in a respected position in the space sector due to its strategic location to be a scientific rocket launch platform. NASCOM um, is the National Aerospace Services Company. Um, was founded in 2021 as the first Omani company dedicated to testing and designing the fundamental components for space exploration. Um, regarding the launch facility in Al-Dukhum, why did we choose Al-Dukhum? Um, it's because internationally verified studies have identified Dukhum as the top five, in the top five most efficient launch locations in the world. And so we see this as a national asset that must be developed and it will become more and more important over the next 20 years to have developed a facility such as a launch center. On the course of this symposium, two agreements were signed. The first was between the Ministry of Transport, Communications and Information Technology with the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning and the National Aerospace Services Company, NASCOM, which entitled a usufractor for the scientific space rocket launch platform project and the development of a scientific environment for experiments and studies in this aspect. Oman LNG is uh, proud to be partnering with uh, the government uh, organization in, uh, in, in, in corporate social responsibility. Uh, this project comes directly in line with Oman LNG CSR activity and CSR strategy, namely the pillar related to the innovation, knowledge and technology. Hopefully we can continue this uh, partnership with the government in making and funding projects that serve the community and the nation at large. While the second was between the Ministry of Transport, Communications and Information Technology, as well as the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Youth and Oman LNG Company to establish a special corner for space science and technology in the Children's Museum, which simulates the virtual reality of a spacecraft. It's worthy of mention that all those efforts head in the direction of Oman 2040 Vision and the Digital Economy Program to raise awareness on the various national investment opportunities in the space sector. This symposium that comes on the Omani space sector only indicates the importance of investing in this field as the global trend and also to prepare the national cadres to do their sacred duties. For Oman TV, Ahmed bin Hilal al-Busaidi, Masqat.